Hello everyone and welcome to part five of how to make a classic IDM sample pack. With me, your host, Mr. Nederick Russian Bot. Right, so um, what have we done so far? Drums, bass, synthy bits, sound design, and now we get to the slightly boring part, but it's very important, and that's the file management. So I was rather flip in my approach to this video, uh, this series of videos, and along the way, I neglected uh, to keep on top of all of these files that I was were creating with, uh, you know, all of these like really similar names with which just slice one with the date and time afterwards. So I'm actually going to go through the process again, which I thought might be a nice little refresh point for 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 some of you. Um, and also because I couldn't be bothered to go through and try and tidy um, all of that up. So what I've done is I've basically imported all of the resamples that we've done throughout all the videos. And I'm just going to slice them up again, but I'm going to do them sort of one at a time. I don't know whether I'll do all of them because that might just be too long and boring. Um, but I thought it would help me keep on top of everything because it's probably a good idea to um, do them in one go because you want to name them and you want to give them all the necessary information and you want to organize them in the, in the necessary folders. Uh, I'm going to start with the stubs that we made, which were these um, forward reverse ping pong -y double <laughs> echo snare things, which I like very much. It's going to come back now. There it comes. So I guess a good place to start would be, um, I've now, well, at least I think I did, uh, maybe I'll just do it again. I'm now, uh, well, I've created a new set with uh, only the files in it that I want. And I'm now gonna do a collect all and save, which is basically gonna gather the assets into um, a single folder. So we're gonna have in that folder samples that we've recorded. Um, well, that's actually, we can just have a look. So I'm gonna right click this uh, one here. I'm gonna go show in finder. It's going to reveal it in the finder. So in here is, um, you know, all of the, well, some of them. Let's go, how can I go up? I need to go up, processed. Let's go to the, the top, the top, top, the top, the top. So in the samples folder, sorry if it's a bit small, um, we have uh, processed, which is where all our crops are and recorded. So actually I'm going to concentrate on the ones um, in this crop folder for now, specifically these uh, 16 slice files here. So I'm actually just gonna copy those and in here is fine, I'm just gonna make a new folder and I'm gonna call it IDM sample pack by net rush, that's me. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna go in here and I'll make um, a, well actually I'll just paste, I'll paste the, uh, the, the, the new ones in. Okay, so for now I don't actually need the analysis file, so I'm going to trash them. And so I don't know what this is like on PC. I'm sure this is just as easy to do on PC as it is on Mac. I'm just simply going to rename them. Rename 16 items. And I'm going to call them stubs. Uh, I'm going to give them uh, the BPM, 150 BPM. Um, that's kind of it, really. Um, I mean, I, get, I could put IDM sample pack at the end, but it doesn't matter. And then um, they're all going to have um, a number afterwards. So all I have to do is just hit rename and it's gonna go bosh, bosh, bosh. And now we've got them all uh, very quickly to just go uh, new folder from selected items. And we can call this um, stubs. I mean, that's really all I'm gonna be doing for like, most of this video is <laughs> really. Um, but I thought maybe I might go through the slicing process again. Um, just to... Because like, you, know, you, you, you might not have followed this process and you don't have to follow this process. You might have actually done all of the recording separately and now you've brought everything into a new project and now you want to cut it up or you're doing it for someone else or something. So let's do these drum glitch ups. So these, I remember I was gonna slice into two bars. So I'm going to divide it by two and I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go slice to new MIDI track and I'm gonna slice by bar and then I'm going to 
um, slice to my empty sampler and I'm going to go OK and it's going to do it. And then all I need to do is go into... Ah, now, so we've got a problem here. We're going to have a problem here because in our crops folder, we've got um, what we were just working on. Let's go show in Finder. And well, now that we've made that new folder with all of those sounds in, all uh, named, um, we don't need these anymore. So I'm I'm going to trash them. And I've got them saved in another project anyway. So uh, I'm going to trash them. So now when I um, crop these new ones, because they're all going to get cropped with the same name, it's it's slightly irritating, but you got to work your way around these things. Circumvent, I think is the word. So let's... Uh, Let's uh, watch this. Watch this little bar go up. This is prime YouTube, isn't it? Watching a yellow bar get bigger and drink some wine. All right. So let's go show in Finder. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing now, but I, I'll cut them this time. So I'm going to go cut. Oh. Maybe you don't do cut. <laughs> cut. Oh, okay. So, um, okay. What I'll do is I'll actually just move them to this sample packs folder. And again, I don't want the analysis files because we're going to make new ones of those anyway. So we'll get all those analysis files and we'll trash them. And then we'll get all of these, select them, right click. Uh, where was it? Rename? Where is it? Rename. Rename 64 items. So I'm going to call these, I'm going to just re replace stubs with drum glitch ups. 150 BPM. I think the BPM is important. It's good to have that in there. And for the musical ones, we'll put the key in as well. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to go new folder with 64 items. And I'm just going to call it drum glitch ups. All right, so we're kind of halfway there. Uh, maybe what I'll do is pause the video and uh, and then we'll resume and look at our finished work because I'm sure you don't want to watch me rename files for the next 20 minutes. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. So I did all of all of, all the work there. It didn't actually take very long. It took about 10, 15 minutes. So yeah, I kind of repeated the process for all the things that we've recorded, uh, sliced them up, cropped them, and then renamed them. And now they are all kind of nicely organized into uh, very usable loops. And so, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the end of, of the project. <laughs> but it's not because we're going to chuck them all in a live set now for the next video. Um, you know, probably I could have worked on these a lot, lot more. I was racing through it because I kind of just wanted to share with you uh, a workflow process. Um, so I was a little bit slapdash with uh, some of my sound design choices. Um, obviously, you know, I could have worked on this for as long as I wanted and made more samples, put a little bit more time and effort into the sound design to make it a little bit more interesting. But instead, I just thought, let's go. Let's make a, you know, a sample pack in four or five hours or something. So um, yeah, so, I mean, some of them are, you know, not that great, but that'll do, they'll do for now. But um, so we're going to get to the interesting bit now where we're going to put them all into a live set. So I'm basically just going to take all of these. Um, I, I mean, I know they're at 150 BPM, but that shouldn't really be an issue. But um, I'm just going to pull all these in now, just dump them there. And it's going to give them, you know, everything's going to be named, which is quite nice. Um, and then let's do, and now we've created the analysis files. That's good. Uh, so let's do the same for these ones, put these all in and we'll go back and I'm going to put them all on sort of separate tracks. They're all going to be separate elements in the mix in our live set. Uh, what did I just do? Drum grooves. Let's do the feedback loops now. Let's pull these in. These are hideous. I've just been listening to them, but <laughs> it's, it doesn't matter because we're going to use them very sparingly or we could, you know, slow them down, transpose them, whatever. Uh, the bass. 
bass is good. I was happy with the bass lines. Uh, the lead riffs, let's pull these in. Oh, I wonder if this would be quicker to do from Live's browser. Actually, no, I don't really know where on the fire path it is. It's somewhere in my Dropbox. Uh, the plinks, let's pull in the plinks. Um, all right. And finally, the stubs. Is that everything? The chords? Yeah. Okay. All right. That's kind of everything. What I might just do, I'm going to trash that resample channel. Um, I'm going to put my bass on channel one. I'm going to put my drum grooves on channel two. I'm going to duplicate the drum grooves because I think it's nice to have two of them at once. How many tracks have I got? Nine. <sighs> Mm, okay, I'm going to group those. You know what? I'll save this for later. Um, the chord pad, the drum glitch cups can go in there. The chord pads, the feedback is going to go at the end. The stubs still got nine tracks. Okay, that's fine. All right, so basically what I've done now is I've imported them all, and in the next video, we're going to make a really slamming live set. I'm going to pull out my MIDI controller, and then, you know, we're going to have, like, a super mega DJ superstar meltdown rave up. It's going to be awesome. Um, okay, let's just have a little listen, shall we? Why don't we just have a listen? Sounds a bit like Joseph Nothing. Remember him? Okay, we'll save the fun for the for the last video. Okay, so yeah, a bit of a short, boring video, but it's important. And, you know, be mindful of these things when you're working on a project like this. You know, you might want to go through it in chunks, work on one selection of assets so that the naming process and compartmentalizing process is not so much of a strain on the brain. Okay, right. See you in the next video. Bye.